turn now to Michael Jackson. When people think of Michael Jackson's contributions to fashion, they think of those military jackets and the sparkly glove. But a new exhibit opening in L.A. today showcases Jackson's favorite pieces of Western wear, boots, jeans, even an entire cowboy outfit. Chris Connolly brings us an inside look at the, at the collection. Hey, Chris. How are you, George? You know, that's right. You wouldn't expect Michael Jackson's wear to be displayed in a museum dedicated to the American West. But it turns out that the superstar best known for his hee-hee also had a little hi-yo in him. Sure, he could be a thriller, a smooth criminal. But a cowboy? yippee Kai, whoa. I shot the sham, but I did not shoot the deputy. Turns out this 1977 Jackson's TV show wasn't the only time the king of pop kicked it Western style, with a new installation at LA's Autry National Center showcasing the best of the West from Michael's wardrobe, a display he approved just months before his death in June of 2009. What did he say about the prospect of having his where be exhibited here at the Autry. The first thing that was mouth yeah. was, they want a piece of me. He was so excited, yeah. they want a piece of something he had on in a Western Heritage Museum. All courtesy of his designers, Dennis Tompkins and Michael Bush, like the belt he wore while promoting Beat It. Beat it. Just beat it. And before they turned up on MTV and at the White House, these boots were made not just for walking. One thing we worked with Michael is if it, no matter what it was, and I hate to say but what it cost, or the, the process it took to get to it, if it didn't work the way he danced, it came off. The only thing different between that cowboy boot and a leather cowboy boot is that one won't stretch. And the fun part from the shoe was, he, oh, I can see my face in them. <laughs> so which was great. Curator Jeffrey Richardson says the exhibit lets museum goers spot some pop culture precursors for Michael's flair on the frontier. This is how Roy Rogers dressed. Roy would dress like this if he was going to the grocery store, if he was going out. Even Michael's glove has Western roots. These were worn by Buffalo Bill. What's special about that particular glove? Okay, that was the last one he was photographed in for still photo for Vibe magazine. Michael brought this Go West ensemble to Australia with this tall on the saddle shirt made from cotton and suede. Tell us what the size of those jeans are. 28, 28, 34. 28, 28, uh, waist, waist 34. 34 and so pretty much just like my measurements. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we're all <laughs> the ones back. I have all at the drawer at home are the yeah. same size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's why he's the superstar, is because he's got that perfect look. Not to mention a trick or two from the designers. Dennis, you were saying that spandex has been sewed into some of these blue jeans. Right, on the inseam, so that they're tight when you're standing still, but then you still got the flexibility to move and to dance. Or to jump off your horse. <laughs> That's a really good one. This exhibit offers a look at an unexplored side of Michael's sensibility and a bittersweet bit of acclaim for his longtime collaborators in style. Seeing what the museum did to it, you, it's an get, awesome feeling. you get the hair stands up yeah. on your arm, on the back of your neck, going, yeah. wow. It's an incredible feeling, feeling, but I would still rather be behind the scene. I don't know, just to look at it, I think you would give it up if he was back. And you know, Michael certainly understood the music once identified as country and western. Michael Bush told us that on his first day of work, the king of pop sang him a Patsy Cline song. Must have been pretty nice <laughs> to hear, George. <laughs> that is some serenade. Okay, Chris Connolly, thanks very much.